Hey everyone, it's Elaine, and I thought maybe what I would do is from time to time pop in and let you see what I'm working on. Um, it's, <laughs> you know, having the six tables now inside of my she shed slash also known as the pine cone cabin, I have extra space, and when I'm not having friends over, I've been utilizing the space to stage things that I'm working on and it's, I like it. It's, it's working for me. Um, I've done some rearranging, um, since I've done my final video of my studio setup and I'll show you all that at another time. But for right now, let's just go down this side and I have here are five kits that I'm working on. Um, I have been asked to teach a class to a small group of four other people and then myself. Um, so I have five boxes set up for kits. And let's see if I can do this without making everybody seasick. They are Chick-fil-A lunch boxes. Um, that's the, I have the covers of the um, journals set up there. I, from time to time, send them a little list of homework. Like I've asked them to, you know, find their own fabric or paper that they want to cover their journals with inside and out. I've asked them, of course, to do miscellaneous paper. I've asked them to, um, press and dry a few flowers. Um, just, you know, different things. Of course, I've asked them to do, um, you know, to have their own, you know, scissors and ruler and glue and stuff like that. Um, so wish me luck. <laughs> it's about, um, it, it's going to be in Florida. It's going to be, I hope, fully fun and a new experience for me. I've always enjoyed training, but I've never done much of it like this. Um, and then the next couple boxes here, that's just a, bun a box of kind of junk um, junk journal. And then this is a box of different kind of papers. And I just threw some corrugated cardboard in there for us to tear apart. And then this box is, um, folders of paper that I thought that they could use in their junk journals. And then back here, I'm just kind of putting a little bit of stuff together, you know, some beads and some, um, paste that they can, you know, do a little wax and then some sprays, just some stuff that I had, and somewhere, let me back up here, I have a box of miscellaneous paints that I'm going to take and some stencils. Um, I thought we would do a master board and teach them how to cut it up. That is my brass stencils. And then I have a couple bins over there of just miscellaneous things that I'm going to take as well. So wish me luck, wish me luck, wish me luck. And then... That's two tables. On this table now, I have gotten more dang rocks. It's like just when I think I'm never going to have another rock, I get more rocks. So I've just sewed them all. Those are the last five now that I have to paint. But I've painted them all and then I leave the bottom with just gesso. And then if you've watched me before, you know I just write some kind of saying on it. And then underneath I always do um, Larkin Lane Creations on YouTube and Facebook. And then I pass them around. So I thought if I could get all of these done before I go to this training in Florida, I could pass those rocks out. <laughs> those rocks out going to and coming from Florida. Put them in different places. Um, and as you can see, I also have a very ugly vinyl tablecloth on these two tables. And I have been leaving it there because... With it being a little cold and damp, if I want to stain, coffee stain or tea stain some paper, it's a little tough to do out on my back patio. It seems like they never dry and it's been a little windy. And I do have a Rottweiler <laughs> that likes to chew on things, so it's better if I do it in here. So that's what this space here is for, and I'll get the rocks off pretty soon and I'll be able to do some more. And then this is kind of the space that I sit at when I'm trying to play and I do have friends over. 
I'm going to probably slide down here. I've not had these six tables for a really long time. So this is just where I was set up and then this is just where I've stayed. And then behind me, of course, is where I um, video. There's my camera. And I just changed my setup on that. I had things piled up in front of those drawers where it was a pain to open them. I had to move stuff out of the way, including the camera. So I kind of rearranged there a little bit and hopefully that will um that'll make things easier. And I'm probably gonna move that pencil or that pencil holder, listen to me, that carousel with all kinds of stuff in it over here to this table and even get that off of the the my filming table here. Anyway, and then my last table, um, I've been working on the 20 soft cover journals that I'm going to be giving out later in the year. Um, I will do a video if it hasn't come out already when this video comes out, but I'll have a video on those and I'm going to do it in parts. I know right now I'm going to have a video on the preparing it, then a video on the outside cover, a video on the inside cover, and then probably somewhat of a wrap-up. Those are the signatures that I'm working on. And it's weird. If I've done, if I've used the fabric here, I'm trying to use the scraps from it somewhere in the signatures. So that's what my kind of mess looks like right now. And um, I like it because I can walk up to a table, something can be drying or whatever, and I don't mess it up. That was the one thing. I will show you one little other trick that I do, and they're kind of piled up there. You can't really see them all. But those boxes there are also multiple journals that I'm working on, and that way, for instance, like if I want to do a cowboy journal, then I'll throw in any cowboy ephemera that I find into that box. Or if I want to do, you know, a wildlife journal, or if I want to do a sewing journal, or, you know, an old-timey journal, whatever. I've, I've got different boxes there with different kinds of journals in them that, um, yeah, that it makes it easier when I go to sit down. So anyhow, that's my little hot mess for right now, and I appreciate you all coming by. And um, like I said, I'll do this from time to time to let you all know what I'm up to. And I appreciate it. And please, you know, check me out. I do my best to put up a video every Tuesday. I'm on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter. And, you know, I, I would appreciate if you subscribe to my channel and tell your friends. Please behave and be safe out there. And I will catch you in the next video. Bye.